Some real-world relationships are very close to being linear. For example, your heating bill and the average winter temperature may be almost directly related. As the temperature drops, your heating bill increases. In the summer, you could see the opposite. As the temperature increases, your air conditioning bill also increases. Some things have no relationship, like the temperature in your phone bill. You can use a scatter plot to understand the relationship between two variables and find whether a linear model could be useful. In this first square, if we draw a line, we can see that there is a correlation. All of the points are close to the line, and it goes up. It has a positive slope, and therefore it has a positive correlation. The second one, we can draw a line through, and we see that it's going down. It has a negative slope. All of the points are close to the line. This one has a negative correlation. This last one, the plots or the points are scattered all around. So this one does not have a correlation. So you can plot your points, draw a line, and find out if it has a good correlation or not. So here we have a series of points. They've been plotted and a line's been drawn through. It goes down. It has a negative slope, so it has a negative correlation. So we want to choose two points on the line. So we can choose 1, 16 and 2, 14. And we can use that to find the slope. So the slope is the difference in y's over the difference in x's. So that would be negative 2 over 1, which is negative 2. So then we can come down here and we can make an equation of a line using a point and using the slope, which it should be 18, because as we can see right there, that's about where it starts. So 16 is y. 16 equals negative 2 times 1 plus b. So that would be 18. And so the equation of our line is y equals negative 2x plus 18. And we can use this line to predict other points. So we could put in 10 for x, we could put in y, and we could find where the point would most likely be. All right, here we have another graph. Uh, the line is drawn through and it does have a strong correlation. It's going up, so it is positive. We need to pick two points. So we could use one, four, and we could use two, five. So the slope is the difference in y's over the difference in x's. So that would be one. And we can see right here that the slope or the y-intercept is two. So y equals Oops, y equals x 
plus 2.